Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. We're just gonna sleep on. If I can get it, I must have took the pocket. <laughs> it's just for the camera, guys, because it's a. Uh, if I don't do that, then the lighting goes haywire. That where I was, I. That's it. That's it, guys. Right, guys, welcome to another uh, vlog with my treasure haul from going to the charity shops just uh, a day or two ago. So I've had a bit of a uh, slack time that I can film it. Uh, first of all, I have, <laughs> I have, do you like my special? That's the one, if you go a lot of vlogs back, uh, you'll see me, uh, there was a vlog where I showed you how I put this on in my sweatshirt here. Anyway, it's my fancy L. Anyway, it's not the boiler, I must go on with this because I've got a short period. <laughs> First of all is this guys, it's a statue, it's a beautiful statue. It's made of metal, so it's handmade, and as you can see, it's a great sculpture to go with this. But I'm selling these separate because I bought them separate, you know what I mean? So I've got to sell them separate. If you want them, you'll need to buy the, the pair separate, but they come as a pair. Uh, this one here is the matching seated one. I've sold a few of these, but in permastone, this is another metal one, you can hear it tinging. These are made of metal, but that's an air lovely one. A kneeling uh, statue, sculpture. Lovely, eh? But these came, uh, at first, when I was first in the shop, I seen that one, and this one was on a separate shelf, lower down. So, but they're definitely, as you can see, they're definitely matching, aren't they? So anyway, these are going up on my EB shop. <coughs> Probably put them up this afternoon, if not tomorrow morning, so. I'll put the link in the description box below as normal, but if they're not there, eh, they've either been sold or I've not put them up yet. So, just just giving you the heads up. Next, this beautiful uh, hand carved wooden box. Now I know for a fact this is made in India, just by looking at the elephants. Look, the brass uh, insets of elephants. These are made of brass, by the way. They're placed in once the, the holes are made for them. Uh, I think this would be, would be for, there's a the price guys, but it's a uh, three pound. I think uh, you could use this for practically anything guys. I need to put that light in a wee bit. Not better. Sorry guys, but when you're doing vlogs you've got to get the right and everything just Perfect, I think that's it. Anyway, as I was saying, three pound for that one. This you could use, what, what I thought, it, it's an incense box, if, if you're probably gathered for you holding incense sticks. But I was thinking about putting my paintbrushes, whatever, I, but <laughs> I think that way, that's why I buy all this stuff, you see, but little, does my mind know it's going on sale, it's going to get sold, but if I was to keep this, I'd be using it for brushes or pens, you know what I mean? Because I'm not into the incense and whatever just now. There you are, beautiful wooden, hand carved wooden box. This next one, I'm contemplating on keeping it, as I said to you, but I like to keep the ball, as I explained. Yeah, but unfortunately I can't do that, but this next one, this is one that I, <laughs> I'm in two minds, but you'll see why. Look at that guys, look at that beautiful vase. I used to hate vases and ornaments, I told you that before, but pottery and Chinese pottery and whatever, I'm starting to love. This is from Italy, it's handmade in Italy. But look at this guys, look at those birds, aren't they lovely? On each side and there's a stalk there. You know what I mean? And look on the bottom, it's made in Italy and it's got the date 19, 1931. 
but it says there, guys, look, made in Italy, and it's got the date 1931, so this is a very old vintage antique uh, vase, but you can understand how I keep that, can you imagine that, sitting on your table, and beautiful flowers, or artificial flowers even, or grasses, whatever, so <laughs> if you want this for me guys, it's a little pay because this will be going up for at least, I think, £75. Uh, that's the only way I would part with that. Uh, I bought it for, I, th I think I bought it for about £5 guys, but the only problem is, the reason it was £5 is, if you look there, there's a little crack on the, on the, uh, one of the, where the bird's wing, but you can hardly notice it, know what I mean? Look. But it's got a, lot, a little crack there where somebody's not knocked it off at some point. But guys, I love this. I fell in love with it. You can see why. But there yeah, That one's... I'll probably put it up just to see how it goes. If you give me £75 for it, then it's yours. Because as I always say, you can always come across another. But I think that'll sit for a while in my house. So I'll be that used to it when it does get sold. That I'll probably get another. And I won't mind when it goes then. <laughs> but anyway, uh, next is a nice silver plated, uh, what do you call that, a coffee pot? A teapot? So, so a lot of these guys, as you, as you already know, uh, stamped on the bottom. But uh, there you are, a nice coffee pot for the dining room table, and that was uh, five quid as well, guys. So. Things has been up in price uh, since the lockdown. Next, <laughs> keeping on the silver plate theme, it's either a cake or a sandwich server or whatever. It's a server anyway. It's a table server. It's uh, you place it on the table and you can put a nice big cake in there, uh, or a, a giant bonbon dish if you want to put sweets or whatever in it. it can be used for a lot of things, but there you are. I'll show you the price of that as well. I paid four, four pound for that, which is a good buy. But that will sell. That's a nice silver plated server for the table. Next, what's next? Is that it, guys? That's it. <laughs> that's all I've got there uh, for you this week. Uh, I've probably got another couple of bits been there. Oh, I've got one here. Just give me a minute, and I'll show you. I think I showed you it in the last vlog. But I'll just nip here to get it for you. Just give me a minute. This one here, guys. I forgot to, I forgot to uh, show you it in the last haul, as I says. But there you are. I think I paid about five pound for this as well. It's a nice chain. Uh, is it Chinese, Japanese? I'm I think it says Chinese. Uh, it's called the Art of Choking, and it's twenty-four karat gold, and it's either Chinese or Japanese. <laughs> But there you are, you can tell me in the uh, comments below if that's Chinese or Japanese. But 24 karat gold, and that's, I think I've got that up for sale just now. So, that's, oh it says they're Japan guys, you don't need to put it in the comments, it says, it says they're Japan. So anyway, it's called uh, Chokin, the art of Chokin. So that must be an art piece, so there you are. I thought I'd just add that one and I know I showed you in the last vlog but I didn't show you in detail. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed that vlog. Uh, another uh, art ho uh, another uh, treasure hunt haul. And you can see what I've got for sale up on eBay uh, for this week. It's the, well, the new things anyway. And until next time I'll say goodbye. And always, my eBay shop's in the description box below. Got a lady paid now, you know I'm paid in that. Uh, Red Kite that I filmed the other day, so I'm doing a paint on that, which is uh, it's coming along great, but halfway through I've changed a couple of things in it and you'll probably see, so uh, I'm going to put it in a vlog anyway, just me uh, showing you bits and pieces of me, me painting it, but it was such a, a great day that I thought, hmm, I'm going to do a paint on that, so that every time I walk by that painting, it'll remember me of that day. Anyway, stop the blaring, next vlog's coming up soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> what a blather. <laughs> Guys, I knew you did have someone else.
a brass candlestick. Three pound, just a an ordinary candlestick, but these sell good. <laughs> I knew I had forgot something. This time, bye bye.